Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and somebody has asked us, how do you create the tape stop effect in Studio One? And I'm gonna show you in Studio One version three, but you can do this also in other versions of Studio One. And the reason I'm gonna show you in Studio One version three is because of a great new feature. And so first, let me show you what we're gonna do. So we've got the audio here. How tape stops work is basically at this point in the song we want the, the beat to go boo, 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 just slow down like a tape stopping that's yeah that's not the best impression of a tape stop you're ever gonna hear so what we want to do is we've marked this piece of audio right mouse click on that audio and what you want to do is go to audio and at the bottom of that menu send to sample one now in sample one I have the instrument here I'm just gonna name it as well tape I'll call it for this and we now have in here the audio of that part. So what I'm going to do now is just make that a bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Double click on that and I'm going to put into there, let's just move out of the way for a minute some stuff, that note there. Make sure you snap to grip when you do this. And there is the note now snapped into there. Make that to say if you're in snap to grip. That will look different on your version of Studio One if you're not using Studio One version three. Now what you want to do then is you want to press mute that piece. Let's hear those playing together. Now depending on how hard you've pressed that note or how hard the velocity is set, it might differ. So if you just open up the mixer, then you can just match those two volumes. Now the next trick, of course, is then the tape stop bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use pitch bend to pull it down. And that's the trick we're going to do. And so we can choose a pitch bend range. I'm going to choose, choose 24, which means it can go down in two octaves if we want. And then let's open this now up in the MIDI editor up here. I'm going to make this nice and big so we can see what we're doing. We're also going to open the pitch bend window, bring that up nice and high. Then our pencil. Let's just move that out of the way. We don't need to see that now. Just hide the browser window as well. And from point four where it starts, we just put a point in there and we'll go to halfway through that. And then we'll grab the arrow tool and bring that down. Let's have a listen to that now. So of course then you could do all sorts of cool stuff. We can also put, if we put another one in here, bring that up to there, we have a tape speed up. And of course, depending on the space you've got there, it will differ. Uh, now the other cool thing of course now is because we're in Studio One version three, if you hover there, you'll see an automation curve appear. And here you can do the same. So we could do that and you'll hear that do different things. And that time it sped up much quicker. So what we could do instead is just do that. Have a listen to that. So of course, if you want it to be linear, which is what it would be normally with a tape, you just put it to about there, but you could put a little change in there and the same here. Now you wouldn't have these automation curves in Studio One before version three. So, but if you come here, you could pull these as far down as you want. We brought that right down and uh, have a really, really low stop. Here we go. Of course, we can go the other way. We could push that right up there. <laughs> so you get the point. Of course, one trick that a lot of people do when they produce this kind of thing, if we just lose that curve for a second, is they would stop the audio sooner. So it would actually come to a stop. So what we could do if we wanted to, get that audio here and bring that back to halfway through the bar there. Let's just bring that back down there so we can see what's going on. And of course then, in fact, that's got to go just another bar a bit longer, but you get the point really, of what we're doing here. Just take it beyond that. So there we are. Now the last thing you can do then, of course, is you could right mouse click on there and you could bounce the selection. And now we have the audio back in tape stop mode. You could pick that up. You could delete that one out altogether. 
and pick that one up, drop that in there. And we now have. And then I could just clean that up a bit, just put that in there, put a curve in there to end the audio there. I'd also then grab those two, press the X key. We've got a crossfade in there. So there we are. That's how you create the tape stop effect in Studio One. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.